Hello and welcome to another episode of Dragons Are Real Podcast YouTube channel. So today we're going to look at what happens if you want to play a game in Foundry and there is no game system for it. Um, in Foundry there are game systems for all the major game systems. So if you want to play Pathfinder, Starfinder, d d if you install systems you'll find the big ones in there and some of the smaller ones but if your game system isn't in there what are the alternatives well you've got two alternatives you can write your own system if you know javascript and i don't or you can use the sandbox system builder which is a generic system which you can build in that takes a bit of time but if you want to go really simple all you need is one system and two add-ons so the first system you need to install is simple world building and the second thing you need to do is you need to add a couple of add-ins modules the first one is pdf foundry which will allow us to have a pdf in the game system and not only a pdf a form fillable pdf which we're going to create here and now and secondly we're going to need dice tray so that we can roll some dice without using macros so once you've got those installed you're going to create a new world using a simple world building system and we're going to launch our new world when you go to manage modules on the settings we need to enable dice tray and pdf foundry and save the module settings which will do a refresh and now they're installed so the first thing we're going to do is i'm going to get a pdf uh, of a character sheet for a game I know it's not covered and this is Stay Frosty an OSR game of uh, Colonial Marines versus Aliens and Predators so if we go to the journal tab you'll now see we've got some new uh, new buttons at the bottom and the first one is, uh, on the right hand side is create PDF so we're going to call this base CS for character sheet we're going to browse to where this PDF is and I put it in my test world in the PDF and there we have it and we're going to set this to a static one will just appear as a reference document but we're going to use a form fillable actor sheet and we're going to close so the next thing we need to do is we need to go, going to create an actor and we'll call this one Adele and up here we've got four boxes the left hand boxes are health the right hand boxes are power so if we put a different number in each one of these we can see which one is which so we'll number these one two three and four we need a sheet which is currently set to the actor sheet so now we're going to sit from the drop down box select pdf foundry and once we've got pdf foundry the pdf we want to use is the base character sheet and there we have our PDF character sheet but unfortunately it's not form fillable now I mentioned that we have the boxes at the top of health and power we want to know what the hit points are so that we can link our PDF character sheet to our token so if we go to inspect data we will see all the fields that are on the simple world building and if we look at health we've got data dot health value was set to one which is the first box there's our second box, data.healthmax. Our data power value was three, and our data power max was four. So those are our four fields, so we need to note those down. So now we need to create a form fillable PDF out of this. And if you've got Adobe Acrobat, the paid version, you can do this, but we want to do this for free. So let's go onto the internet and we'll get ourselves a web page. And we're going to search for PDF Escape. And it's the top one here, PDF Escape. And we've got two versions. We've got a free online version, or we can have a desktop version, which we can pay for. So we're going to use the free online version. And we're going to upload a PDF. And we're going to choose that file we just used now, which was our CS Stay Frosty. And here we have the P 
PDF in here. So what we're going to do now is create some um, form, fillable uh, form fillable fields. I'm not going to create them all, but I will show you how we can do this. So we need to go across to form field on the left hand side. We want a text box and we're going to drag across and rank is going to be here. Then name, we're probably going to need a longer bit for name. Our MOS, our level. And now we want boxes for brains, brawn, dexterity, willpower. We want our hit point start and our hit point finish. We want our armor. Now for here we want um, a paragraph to, because we want several items here. So back on our form field, let's change this to text paragraph. And now we can do a paragraph here. And we'll do the same for weapons. And that will do us for those for now. Here we're going to need some checkboxes. So let's go to our checkbox tool. And we create one, two, three, four. Or if you wanted to create radio buttons, we go to radio buttons, select. And these are off and on. OK. So those are our boxes. At the moment, if we right click on any of the boxes, we can set the properties. Um, we can use set our alignment. So our alignment for that would be centered and OK. Object properties, alignment, centered, OK. We can do with a text in there just to put a line in there to show that we need a line. And as we said before, we know that our two values were data health value and data health max. So this is going to be where we go back to our form field, right click object properties, and we're going to set this to data dot health dot value, just as it was in the form. And we're going to center that. Click OK. And on this one, we're going to right click and set this to data dot health dot max and we're going to center that one and now uh, our form is done and obviously we would spend more time doing the rest of the form but I'm not going to do this this is just a tutorial you can go and do this to your heart's content so now let's export this back to our system onto our desktop and we'll call this final oops to our world we'll call this final CS and save and let's go back to foundry so Let's go over to our PDF view and our journals, create a new PDF. This one's going to be character sheet. We'll browse to the PDF, final, and this is going to be form fillable. So now with our Adele, Let's um, let's create a new character, and um, we'll call this one. First of all, we'll go back to our sheet, and what we're going to do here is we're going to have ten out of twenty for our health, so we can see it's working. We're not interested in the power for now, so we can get rid of that, and this one we'll call. Brian. So there we. So there we have Brian. So now with our sheet, we're going to pick 
our PDF foundry, save, select the PDF and this time we're going to click character sheet, confirm. So here we have Brian's character sheet, so we can now fill in the details. We've got our stats here, so for our brains, our brawn, etc, etc, we can put in here. And if you notice down the bottom here, we've got our health 10 and 20, which is brought in already. So if we do go to our character sheet and go to resources, let's display our health and let's drag Brian out. And you can see that the health is already here. So let's say that Brian takes some more damage and he's down to 5 out of 20 health now. If we double click our character sheet, we should, yes, there we have, our health is 5. So our health on our PDF is now linked to our token. So if we heal here, you can see the health goes back on here. These are our checkboxes. Here we have multiple lines, so we might have um, hunting, shooting or whatever we want in here. These are radio boxes, if you want radio boxes, you can only have one radio box on at a time and the rest of your character sheet is there. For dice rolling, we've got our dice tray at the bottom here, so we want to roll a d20 plus 2. And we can roll, so you'll notice that the actor is not shown. So if we go back to our token here, and um, we'll change this to Brian, update token. So now if we roll a d20 plus one roll, we can see Brian rolls, we can roll damage. So let's say it's 2d6, we can roll 2d6, and there we go. Nice and simply done. All we needed there was simple world building plus um, PDF foundry on the dice tray. We've got our PDF, form fillable PDF done all for free. It's up and running and we can now play the game to our heart's content. So that is a nice simple way for you to run a system that uh, with very little effort in PDF foundry. So you can see that's probably taking this sort of 10 minutes or so, not long. Spend a bit more time on your character sheet and it will work fine. If you want uh, to contact me, um, you can leave some notes, uh, a comment in the video below. Uh, you can also contact me on my website, petejones.neocities.org. You can email me at, email me at the Dragons Are Real podcast at pm.me um, and uh, catch me on the Foundry Discord. So thanks for watching and I'll see you all on the flip side. Thank you.